Aloha and welcome back. This is Justin Hayes with ChineseNutrition.org, licensed acupuncturist. The topic for this discussion is the advanced recipe analysis function of this website. So as you can see here, if we click on recipes, we've already got a few recipes in the site. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick a very popular, well-known formula. This is a classical Chinese formula known as Jiasong. Uh, the English translation of this formula is free and easy wanderer. So this is basically a formula for reducing emotional stagnation, helping people improve their mood. Uh, in Western terms, you might say it helps with hypochondriac pain, which is like pain in the rib cage area, breast distension, headaches, alternating fever, chills, fatigue, poor appetite. But what we're gonna do with this website is really break it down and show you how this formula works with all the different organs in the body. So in, e in terms of Eastern medicine diagnoses, this formula treats liver chi stagnation, liver overacting on spleen, which is, uh, that's like liver overacting on spleen is like saying that your stress is affecting your digestion. Uh, so it helps with that, uh, helps with the liver constraint and blood deficiency. Now, the way that we break the formula down is we get it down to the core level of ingredients. In other words, what is the minimum number of ingredients that we can, we can have and still maintain the integrity of this formula? In this case, that's gonna be 17 ingredients or 17 portions. You can also relate this to the number of grams in the formula. So we've, in this formula, we've got 17 grams, three chai hu, three dang gui, three bai shao, three bai shu, three fu ling, and two gan sao. And if we wanted details, we can click on that, but let's, uh, let's stay out of that for now. So again, 17 ingredients total. And normally the number of grams is gonna be higher than 17 when you write a prescription. So if you wanted to make approximately 100 grams of this formula, you would multiply this formula times five and that would give you close to 100 grams. Uh, and then all of these numbers would increase by a uh, factor of five. And then, but none of this analysis would change. So even though you, you have changed, you've multiplied everything times five, these percentages are still the same. Okay, so how does the recipe analysis kind of work? Well, it has two different levels. It has a general overview, one of which is the channels that are entered. So we can look at it, we can say it goes to the lung twice. Out of 17 ingredients, two of these ingredients go to the lung. Which ones? Gan Sao. It's the only one that goes to the lung. So 11.8% of the ingredients in this formula go to the lung. How do they affect the lung? They're neutral in temperature and they have these special properties here. So it's really not a lung formula. It's just got a couple of ingredients that do go to the lung. Uh, stomach, we've got five out of 17 that go to the stomach. But then we get to spleen, 14 out of 17 ingredients are going to the spleen. So, wow, this is a big spleen formula, right? 14 out of 17, what's the percentage on that? 82.4% of the ingredients are going to the spleen. Well, which ingredients? Dang Gui, Bai Shao, Bai Zhu, Fu Ling, and Gan Sao. And we can break it down. How does that actually affect the spleen? Well, it's slightly warm uh, to the spleen, just, just a little bit. Uh, you can see you've got six warm, five neutral, three cool. So it's going to make it slightly warm. And then it tonifies chi. Eight out of 17 will tonify the chi. Uh, and then let's look for the other big ones here. Nine out of 17 are going to tonify, uh, I'm sorry, clear the dampness, resolve dampness. Good formula for that. Uh, eight out of 17 will help with phlegm. Uh, and then what's the other big ones here? So we got, we can look at the large intestine, not affected. None of the ingredients are going to the large intestine. And that's, again, that's, these are the ingredients here we're looking at. This is the formula and none of them are going to the large intestine. Uh, stomach, we got five out of 17. So slightly warm to the stomach, fairly balanced. Seems to really help with phlegm. If there were phlegm in the stomach, it might be a great formula to choose and tonifying chi as well, tonifying chi of the stomach. But the big players with this formula are going to be spleen, 82.4%, and the liver, 52.9%. Uh, now, remember, we talked about earlier that this formula is great for liver overacting on spleen, right? So primarily, this formula tonifies the spleen and relaxes the liver. 
it gets it, it, in layman's terms, it gets the, the liver off of the spleen's back so that the liver is no longer harassing the spleen. Uh, spleen being uh, also in charge of your sugar metabolism and your pancreas. So this is going to help you to have better digestion. Uh, this formula is often used by students who are overstudying, sitting still for long periods of time, helps to improve their mood, get their digestion going, add in a little exercise and you're feeling a lot better. But let's take a look at the liver. So nine out of 17 ingredients go to the liver. That's 52.9% of the ingredients are going to the liver. Uh, it's overall slightly cooling to the liver. And I would say this is a very good formula for liver wind, right? Nine out of 17 ingredients or 52.9% of the ingredients are, uh, are going, going to help with the liver wind, which liver wind is things like, it starts with uh, shakes, tremors, uh, can turn into convulsions, epilepsy if it's left untreated and accumulates over a long period of time. So that's kind of an overview of how the recipe analysis tool works. You can use it with recipes as well as foods. Uh, let's just check really quickly and pull up a recipe here. So let's look something simple. Kanji for cough due to cold with constipation. This is taken from a classical recipe book. Um, so if we look at this, uh, we have uh, Jing Ren. We have rice and white sugar. Now Jing Ren is the apricot seed or apricot uh, kernel. It's a popular Chinese herb. So if we take that and combine that with some rice and white sugar, and again, we're doing portions. So you, you, it's, it's not, a, it's not an, a science, it's an art. So you, you may have, um, you may consider, you know, one gram to be a portion of Jing Ren, and yet, um, you, you know, maybe a cup of rice is a portion and then a teaspoon of sugar is a portion. So you kind of have to guesstimate with your portions. There's no way I, to, to really you know, be exact with this kind of thing. But just analyzing this recipe, you know, we could say, why would it be for cough, good for cough due to cold with constipation? Okay, let's take a look. So large intestine, slightly warm, regulates cold, heat, phlegm, and dryness. Uh, lung, slightly warm. So cough due to cold, right? Slightly warm to the lung, regulates cold, heat, wind, phlegm, and dryness. So two out of three ingredients are going to the lung. One out of three is going to large intestine. So right there, that's looking like it's helping with digestion. Again, with the spleen, two out of three are going to the spleen and they're tonifying the chi in the blood of the spleen. The temperature for the spleen is neutral. So, and then Stomach. So we have a neutral temperature for the stomach and we're tonifying chi and blood of the stomach, right? Uh, we get the heart, small intestine, bladder, kidney, not affected. Nothing else is affected by this formula. So you start to see where it all makes sense. Cough due to cold with constipation. Well, it's affecting the lung, the spleen, the stomach, and the large intestine. Nothing else is affected. So this is the power of the website. This is the power of the recipe analysis tool. I hope you can make sense of this. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me at cs at chinesenutrition.org. And I'll talk to you soon in the next video.